What's up, Ospreys? Welcome back to the Sunshine segment on Inside Swoop and 90. I'm Austin Mayer here to give you the inside scoop on Inside Swoop. First up, Nebraska Senator Ben Sass was met with pointed questions and loud protests as he made his first visit to the University of Florida since becoming the lone finalist for the school's presidency. Sass, a Republican in his second Senate term, has drawn criticism from some at the Gainesville School for his stance on same-sex marriage and other LGBTQ issues. He also said he believes in human causes for climate change, but has not always supported federal efforts to deal with it. Sass still faces a vote by the school's Board of Trustees and then must be confirmed by the State Board of Governors. Next up, the Tampa Bay Lightning have suspended defenseman Ian Cole pending an investigation into allegations made on social media that he sexually abused a woman when she was a minor. Among allegations posted anonymously to Twitter, the person said Cole pressured her into having sex multiple times when she was a minor after he reached the NFL, NHL. The Lightning said in a statement that they were fully cooperating with the NHL on the investigation, adding, our organization takes these allegations very seriously. Finally, the seafood industry in southwest Florida took a massive hit in the wake of Hurricane Ian, and for the first time since the storm, the lone remaining shrimp boats that didn't sink or get tossed onto wet land went out Sunday and Monday. The boats haven't resumed fishing and shrimping yet, but local fishermen say it was important to get them on the water before the engines, winches, and pulleys seized up from being out of the water. Shrimping is the largest piece of Florida's seafood industry with an annual value of over $50 million in recent years. Well, Ospreys, thank you again for joining me for another Sunshine segment on Inside Super 90. I'm Austin Maida, and I'll catch you later.